do anyone else wants to, I feel bad starting every time, but I can. Um, so, kind of like you guys always say, inner squads kind of help you so much moving into like the two week, the two day meets. How have you guys really seen that payoff with regionals and now moving into this weekend? Yeah, um, I think it definitely helped us a lot at regionals just because all season we'd been doing the inner squad the day before a meet. So it's not quite the same as competing two back to back days, but it's kind of like that same situation where we can really mimic what it's going to feel like at a meet and then doing it again the next day so that. When we got to regionals and we had the back-to-back -back days, it wasn't really as bad as maybe it could have been. And I think that will definitely help this weekend, too, with having back-to-back -back days of competition as well. What is different about the actual two-day competition versus inner squad and normal competition? Um, I think, you know, competition is its definitely different than inner squad. You just you have a little bit more adrenaline. It's kind of like you get on that adrenaline high and then kind of like crash a little bit so it's just really about knowing exactly what we need to do for recovery and just really getting good rest in between the two days. And what does that kind of like recovery look like after day one moving into the next morning? Um, I mean it was just like a lot of treatment for anything that we need and then making sure that we're eating good and getting good sleep like things just things like that so that we feel strong on both days. So do you think that the two-day competition, the switch they made, do you like that change, or do you wish it was how it was last year? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think, I kind of, I like it this year, how we don't have the buys in the competitions. I think that helps to just keep the momentum going from start to finish and the, instead of having those little breaks in between. Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to say because like this season's not over so I don't know maybe I'll be feeling a little bit different after the second time of competing twice but um, I mean so far I, I like it. Well, obviously you guys had a really good performance in regionals how do you kind of use that um, to boost you in the nationals and, and kind of repeat that? Um, I think one we definitely use it as a confidence booster just seeing that we are capable of going out and putting together those four strong events, especially on the second day of competition. And um, I think it's really just about, we've been talking about it all year, just slowly climbing up the mountain, peaking at the right time. And I really do think we're peaking at the right time. And I think we're going to be even better this weekend. Everybody's talking about the fan support and having fans come here later today. And then the fact that y'all are going to have a lot of fans traveling. What does that kind of mean to you personally to know that you have that kind of support at Georgia? I mean, it's awesome just seeing all the fans come out, all the people that are supporting us. Um, it helps us, especially knowing that we have so many fans coming this weekend. It kind of makes us feel a little bit more at home. You really feel the energy from them and it helps you and it helps us all in our performances. And obviously you guys have said like top three at nationals is the goal, winning nationals is the goal, but what are some like smaller goals for this weekend? Um, I think honestly, I mean, we always talk about getting our win, which is just going out there and doing the best that we can, just really um, performing strong, getting four strong events as a team, and just really not having any regrets as we're leaving. And so what do you all need to do this weekend to make sure you get your win? Um, Honestly, for us, I think it's just about staying in our little bubble, um, not worrying about what other teams are doing or not worrying about scores, just really going out there controlling what we can control and doing our gymnastics and then letting the rest happen. And how do you do that in like such a crazy environment? Um, I think um, it, it's good to just have the support. You know, we all um, can kind of just, we're focusing on every single routine that our team is doing, so it makes it easy to not get distracted by other things. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.